But talking of music, of course, um, we can't get to live gigs at the moment. So what we do on a Saturday afternoon is bring the gig to you. This weekend, it's Live Lounge musician Matt Cook. Afternoon to you, Matt. Hi there, Sue. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Now, of course, as a musician, you know, music is, you know, it's in your veins. It's your live yeah. blood. So how are you managing without, you know, doing your live gigs? Right, you know what? It's scary, right? It's a strange experience having absolutely every gig cancel in your diary. Yeah, I'll give you that. But now is the time. Now is the time to sort of get writing, get practicing. Um, I've been playing more music over the last uh, couple of weeks than I, uh, than I normally do. <laughs> you know, it's, it's sort of more guitar playing. You know, I'm, I'm down in Swansea living with my mum at the minute. I'm doing a head in because it's like, um, <laughs> you know, every night's a gig night now, it seems. And, of course, live streaming is, is taking off as well. More and more people are streaming as well. That's something I've always enjoyed. So your mum is basically your audience every well, night whether she likes it or not i'm sure you know she loves she's it my number one fan she's um of course she and, is. and you know what my mum will tell me if, if i play something that's um you know too fast too slow she'll tell me she's um yeah she, she knows the score she, she's been listening to me playing for uh, uh years and years and years <laughs> <laughs> difficult for her to crowd surf but bless her she'll have a go i'm sure um you mentioned the live streaming so where do you do this well, yeah, I, I, I'm, my website is thatguywesawlastnight.com, and from there I stream live to uh, Facebook Live. Um, I find that's a pretty good uh, streaming platform. If, you know, if there's anybody out there listening to this, then that's a really good one because uh, it's easy for people to leave comments, and then you can sort of build up a little bit of, um, you know, a, li a little bit of uh, an interest in, in, uh, in your live music. Um, you know, just set up your phone. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be a, a, a Mozart shot. <laughs> you know, it can be pretty, uh, it can be pretty rough and ready. But um, you know, the whole idea is that it's, you know, because it's live, it's, you know, it, it's, it's almost as good as being there. You know, sort of any mistakes or any, you know, anything that, uh, you know, we, we sometimes call it um, throwing in a K minor. <clears throat> That's um, a special type of chord that uh, I've invented, <laughs> and uh, sometimes they go out. But, you know, that's the whole point of live music. You know, it's real. It's a real thing. Um, and, and, yeah, live music will survive. Um, we're just going to have to do it a different way for a little bit. Do you know what? All my musical life, I hadn't realised I've been playing in K minor. That's where <laughs> I've been going, going wrong. And at, at a time like this, are you able to write music? Does it have, do you have to be quite disciplined? How, how does it work with you? Well, do you know what the, the the thing that I struggle with is is putting the guitar down. Um, so you know I've got um, a little trick. If there's any guitar players out there, if you get yourself an electric guitar, then that makes if you don't plug it in, it makes little to no noise. So you can sit there, you can play, you know, you can watch TV, you can play your guitar, you can um, you know you can play it once everybody else has gone to bed. And you know I've, I've got neighbours here as well, so they're thankful for that. Um, and, and really, I mean, you know, just time with your instrument and just allowing, you, you know, allowing that to be what it's going to be, you're going to end up with a couple of songs. So, yeah, it's, I think it's going to be quite a creative time. I think after all of this is done and dusted, there's going to be more live music because people are going to want to make up for that, uh, make up for the ones that we've lost through the last few months. And, and then people are going to have a sort of, you know, a, a brand new selection of songs. I know I'm, I'm working on a couple of different, different bits and pieces at the moment. Um, very excited about it, really. Um, so yeah, I think it, you know. It, there's, I know it's difficult to see, but this actually might be good for live music. Does it change the way you write, though? Is it changing the type of songs that you're writing because of you know the isolation that that we're living in at the moment? Do you think? <laughs> well, you know what, <laughs> you do sort of find yourself. As, um, as a songwriter, you sort of take on different, um, you don't realise you're doing it, but you take on different words and phrases that you're hearing. So, you know, every now and then I'm sort of, you know, struggling with myself not to write a song about um, staying six feet apart, <laughs> you know, because these are the things you hear. And, uh, you know, words like isolation are coming up and, um, you know, hand washing. I mean, you know, I, <laughs> I've been writing songs for 30 years, but I, I never managed to, um, I, I don't think I could write a moving song about hand washing. I mean, there's a challenge for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll, that's. I'm loving you. Set the gauntlet there. You, you put that yeah. throw that gauntlet down. Let's see if we can do that. Well, look, you've 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 given us a terrific track that we can use in our virtual um, live lounge, uh, which is "Letting Go." Tell us about the the song. Uh, "Letting Go" is a very important song for me. I I, I wrote the song um, a, a good few years back now, and w what had happened was I, I managed to get that onto radio play, and then um, some people heard it, and I ended up going out to um, uh, Jacksonville in Florida to go take part in a TV show, 
um, called Do I Have a Hit Song, and I did well on that. And it was this song that started it all happening. I, I eventually, the version you're going to hear today, um, I went to Jacksonville and I recorded that with a guy called Steve Wrench, who worked very closely with um, Leonard Skinner, the, the, the rock band, the Sweet Home Alabama guys. Um, and um, it, it's, um, there, there's an um, a excellent female vocalist on this called Herminia Soulshine. She's brilliant. Um, and th this track is, um, yeah, it's a song about um, <clears throat> when you're, um, you get that feeling that you're into a relationship and it feels like you both might be letting go, but you don't know it yet. Hmm. Tell us how we can follow you, Matt. Um, head over to the website, www.thatguywesawlastnight.com. Um, and the, at the bottom of each page is there, there'll be my Twitter, there'll be my uh, Facebook, my Instagram. Um, I, I've got, got it all on there. Brilliant. Well, look, thank you so much uh, for being in our live lounge today. Uh, stay safe and say hello to your mum as well. All right, I'm sure she's enjoying those personal gigs. Uh, thank you. This is Matt Cook. This is our virtual gig. And this is Letting Go on BBC Radio Radio. <laughs> tried to keep a little faith inside of me a little light inside my hand a little hope to understand but none of this can be if you're not here with me to bring the night it's like we've slipped away But I'll always be holding back Picking up all the slack Hope that you'll see The two of us used to laugh Used to love Used to be only you and me And it feels like love
brilliant was that on our virtual stage on the live lounge that was matt cook and to follow him just go to the website that guy we saw last night.com